Well, there may not be a map behind me, but you are definitely tuned into Map Room Sessions. I'm Kyle, and here I got Freeman Dre and the Kitchen Party. Take it away, guys. met my father I didn't have a clue the first words that he told me were the last ones that were true this desert's made for walking and there's nothing you can do except go on 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 it's the Babylon and then I met my mother and she took me to the water she sent me down the river not to lose my life in slaughter and she raised me as a nurse working for the Pharaoh's daughter it was on on Onwards to Babylon And the wrong man took the throne When the king of Egypt died And more than ever known Before the desert sun had fried Say grab your things, we'll leave tonight Who's coming for the ride We're going on, on, onwards to Babylon And my sister, she was already a lady She told me of my father's plan in a land where we'd be safe She bundled up her weapons before she turned and walked away And she went on, on, onwards to Babylon And then I met my brother and I looked him in the face He'd been through all the cold wars in the seven deadly plagues Said I don't know where we're going, but I heard about this place And we went on, on Onwards to Babylon And the wrong man took the throne When the king of Egypt died And more than ever known Before the desert sun had fried So you grab your things We leave tonight Who's coming for the ride We're going on On Onwards to Babylon Well, everyone, welcome to Map Room Sessions. We've uh, taken a bit of a road trip this time, and here we are in the kitchen. I would like to introduce you to Freeman Dre and the Kitchen Party. Uh, if you guys want to take a second, introduce yourselves, and how about instruments that you play? I am Marlon Chaplin, and I play uh, everything pretty much. Drums, piano, guitar, bass. Nice. I'm Lonnie Knapp. I play the mandolin and the guitar. I'm Freeman Dre, and I'm a songwriter and semi-guitar player and vocalist. A little bit older, son. There's some story that I've been in the last little while said. listening to your music online, first album. Quite enjoy it. Oh. Also, uh, any history I can find about you guys, which is minimal, but I found some. And uh, one of the things that really stood out to me was... Um, your uh, house jam sessions in Parkdale yeah. way back when. Basically, I just think it would be really cool for our audience to find out what what that was, how that happened, where that went, and a brief story about that. You know, the reason why we even called it Kitchen Party in itself was because we started to play shows and, 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 and friends would come over and me and Lonnie would be playing and, uh, on the guitar and on the mandolin. and. Eventually Marlon met up with us and he would come over and then we had some other boys that are in the band that couldn't be with us today. And uh, you know, it would be like this kind of situation except it would be just people piled in everywhere and then eventually... <laughs> neighbor, yeah. <laughs> At some point my neighbors didn't like it so much uh, because people were very loud and 
people tend to get noisy when they drink and play music. But that's you know there was a good a good couple summers or at least one yeah. summer that it was <coughs> pretty fun there. In the Sweet. So that's uh, basically a story of kitchen party. We now know that it was in a kitchen. Um, so a bit about your music. Uh, I really like the different sounds that you guys incorporate to your songs. Like I hear different genres, and that really excites me as somebody who likes all different types of music. How would you guys describe the music of Freeman Dre in the Kitchen Party? Um, you know, it's folk based, um, but we all come from kind of different um, musical backgrounds, mm -hmm. and I think we all kind of infuse that into this band. You know, sometimes it can get uh, a little more hard, you know, mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's a lot more folky. So with the second album coming up, there's obviously, I find, uh, pressure with the sophomore album. Can the band maintain their sound and, you know, create something as good as the first one? Did you guys find any challenges between recording the first album, Red Door, Second Floor, and the new album? Uh, you know, give a little story about that, you know, Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, the, the first album was kind of made uh, spontaneously, and uh, which is what, one of the reasons why we really love it, because it captured where we were at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, I think because we spent a lot more time together and, and come to, to, to have a, a stronger vision of what we want to be and, and, and the sound that we want to have, that this would likely reflect that a little bit more, this mm -hmm. new album. So yeah, the title is called Old Town. And it's a, it's a throwback album, a con conceptual album about, you know, the immigration process that, you know, we as Canadians, whether personally or in generations past, have experienced. So that's the theme of it. And the release date is July 19th. And we're going to be throwing a big party down at the Horseshoe Tavern awesome. on the full moon. So it's going to be uh, nice even better. Yeah. Well, I will be there. And hopefully, you guys, you guys are all invited. We'll you're, all, you're all on there. <laughs> So I guess uh, nearing the end of the interview, I want to obviously talk about where our audience can find you online. Right. You know, one place, obviously Facebook. You have your Facebook page. Yeah, we got all the we got all the the various Twittery things. <laughs> Facebook. I got a Twitter. We got Facebook. Uh, I think we got other stuff, but mainly we want you to go check out the website. That's the one that I'm kind of up to date on, and that's Freeman Dre and the Kitchen Party dot com. All Great. one big long word. We will have that on the page when we post the video. Oh. All of you can check it out. <laughs> please do, please do. Do you see it written below? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that was great. Well, I'm really looking forward to coming out to some of the shows. Yeah, Definitely please. a release party. The release right. party. Grab some beers afterwards. Absolutely. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming in. I had a blast. That Cheers, was great. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay. Yep. We'll see you again soon. Yeah, for sure. Uh, everybody, peace out. Map Room Sessions. Map Room Sessions. Kitchen party. One, two, one, two. The name's not important The city, it's just a city Like any place I ever been before We lost some to the streets And we lost some to the country When we lost some in that useless fucking war Some got left behind Some got picked apart by vultures Some of them just wasn't made to last Some got all caught up In the undercounter culture Some of them got caught up in the past so raise your glasses of vodka Nastrovia No, we don't care about the cost For tonight, we don't drink to the ones who made it over Tonight, we drink to the lost Glasses of vodka, Nastrovia. No, we don't care about the cost. For tonight, we don't drink to the ones who made it over. Tonight, we drink to the lost. Some of them was heroes, some of them were scoundrels, and some of them was neither here nor there. And some they left a shadow that loomed larger than a mountain. Some of them just vanished into air. So raise your glasses of vodka and astrovia. No, we don't care about the cost For 
tonight we don't drink to the ones who made it over tonight we drink to the lost tonight we drink to the lost tonight we drink to the lost